This is where we are going to be working. We kind of get a full block along there. Five, three, five. He has just came, we're just going to get the driver and put it where we want. We're plumbed down there, squashed down in this corner. Right then, so we've just finished our pointing job at the low top. We're back here now in time off for Dave and Nicholas Construction, where we will be building this double story extension on this fantastic old property. Come round the back and we'll have a little look what we'll be doing. Um, while we've been away, David and the team, they've put our concrete in place. There's drainage in place. So we need to bridge over these two lintels here with concrete lintels. This is where we are going to be working right now. We've just set our laser level up over there so we can get all corners on here. Just going to take our, high, our height, find our high points, low points, and work out if there's any difference in the concrete to whether we need to be picking up, squashing down, or whatever. The last video, we discussed what's going to be getting built here. This back elevation, is all single story. This is going to be built in a feature brick, which is going to be different to down the sides. Down the sides, we're just going to be using smooth red engineering bricks. On this back here, the bricks are going to be lush. So stick around, subscribe on YouTube, and you will see what we're going to be using. Right now, we're just going to set up these lines on this back elevation. We're going to ping a line right down the side here and hopefully our blocks will be here by then. The lads will start loading out and we can get some blocks laid. It's mid morning now, so we're not going to get much done. It's very time consuming, setting up our lines, making sure that everything is right. That said, we're going to crack on the seawall in a little bit. Right, so that is the highest point. Right. So we even Seventy-five there, seventy-five low. If we drop one on there, that means we're gonna be having loads of little cuts underneath here. Set that height on that block over there, measure down and whatever that cut is, put that in there, string a line through and run to that line. Down there, that'll be alright because if that's sixty mil over there, if we pick this bed up here, just keep that squashed down, set the height there, transfer it down there, that'll run in fine just this back we might have to cut some of the block away and on this year i have no idea we might end up just using something else in there uh, right that's it he has just came we're just going to get the driver put it where we want and then we're going to crack on it's about one o'clock so we're very late in the day we're going to get cracking catch you in a bit getting this property up to dam for Dave Nicholas construction where we have not recorded very much we've just seen that the reason being it has been non-stop rain since we got here we've had problem after problem it's been an absolute nightmare of a job but we kept pushing through and we've did it we're up the dam all the way around we've got two course of trench blocks in this found one course of four inch block and one course of brick s we've got two air bricks coming out this side here the reason being there is going to be a solid wall where the utility meets the garage and the garage floor is obviously going to be concreted 
we've got three air bricks which come out the back of this elevation which drop down telescopic vent and vent underneath the timber floor which will be in here so we're not going to stick around here because i'm fed up with getting wet and we're just gonna get out of here we've got another job which we're going to now it's not far from here around 20 minutes away that one is a double extension so that's coming off the house coming across it's got a little porch on the top comes out and across the porch drops off it's another nice little extension like i always say nick and all of the team look after us so we look after them we leave this site now clean and tidy ready for the ground workers who are going to come in and prepare this floor and um, it's going to be a concrete oversight which goes in for the timber floor nothing in their way they can just get straight on with the job i'm really wet now we'll catch up with yous when we get to slick burn for now bye i'll catch up with yous in a little bit bye for now just left our job that we've just started in Whitley bay for david nicholas construction where we built the foundation up to damp course our next job we are going to be building a double extension to this property here just arrived here we've just seen what materials that we need to get this up to damp while the Whitley Bay job is getting prepared the floor is getting prepared we are just going to get this up to damp by that time Whitley Bay will be ready for us to go back and build above damp we'll have this up to damp the ground workers can then come back onto here and get the floor in place here which is fantastic so we've just worked out our depth we know that we're going to put three course trench blocks down one course of briquette and four course of bricks that is going to build this up to damp course um it looks like a really nice job the ground workers have done a lovely job in that farm tomorrow right then we are back in ashington for david nicholas construction where we built this extension on top of this garage down below so the reason we are back here we had to lay these bricks so these had to be made on a special order to match the house so we're back here we've just finished laying the soldier course underneath the window down below if you remember from the beginning of this job this was a garage door opening we bricked it up the window's gone in and inside there now is a habitable area upstairs we've put the soldier course on on this window there now if we come around the back with me and we'll take a little look on the rear elevation we've got just this one window solely of course these bricks went in there and um, we've got a joint where our building meets the existing building rather than joint up as you go and you're going to get if you say you do 10 cores of bricks the next day you do 10 cores of bricks if you joint that joint up you're going to see that joint in the mortar so we leave it totally out and then joint that in one joint so when that dries it's going to dry as one full joint it looks much better so yeah we're done here really happy we'll go and have a quick butchers inside and um, show off david's work david nicholas's work i should say um it looks really good come and have a look i'm walking the wrong way to show you anyway let's go in the back here so through here this used to be this is the utility room. This used to be the garage in this property. This is none of our work. This is all David Nicholas construction. Plus has a been in and have done a really good job. Like it looks fantastic. Floors are in, they're obviously not finished. They just need to take off where the glue's been and stuff like that. But yeah, it's looking really good in here. We're gonna have a little nip upstairs because this was already here. This stuff up there is what we built. So let's have a look. So come on in here this is where we built so this is what we built on top of the extension here this is the front where we've just been working putting the soldier course on the outside it's a nice space like isn't it the back this is where we put the soldier course on on the outside and i think in the last video we had to come and change the lintel on here where we had the roof propped up you see seen that if you'd been following if you're not following Follow us on Instagram and YouTube. We post daily on Instagram. Um, you will see all of that on there. So this job is now wrapped up for David Nicholas Construction. We've got another job which we started last week in Whitley Bay where we are building a two-story extension. We've got that up to damp course. 
which you've probably seen in the previous videos. Today, we are going over to another job just down the road from where we are in Ashington, where we are building another two-story extension. We're going to get that loaded up and we're going to get this built up to damp. So stick around, you'll see these two new videos coming. Like this video, leave a comment what you thought of this whole build that we built on top of this garage for David Nicholas Construction. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Follow us on Instagram because I post there quite a lot. Let's go. We've loaded up, we've got our lines set out. I'm trying to speak loud here for still so. We've got our lines set up here. We've just squared them, measured our four meters, squared them all off. We've not recorded that, but if you are interested in seeing that, go in our previous video, or one of our previous videos, where we show how to set out a building up to damp. And that would be the rear, no, that would be the side extension that we've done for Valley View Joinery. I'll put a link up here somewhere or up there and you can click that to see how to set out. We've checked our concrete height which is perfect. The ground workers have done a fantastic job. It's really, really good and it's going to make our job a lot easier. What we've done now, we've just taken our damp heights, we've put it on our profiles. We've set up slightly different on this job uh, where we would normally drop a block in but this time we're going profiles just for speed. So on the profile anyway, we've marked our damp height with the laser level which we've got set up over there we've measured down we have found what our gauge is we know now we just need to squash these down over two course which is note over that side is perfect um yeah gonna just get straight on with this really rushed trying to catch up one way it's really noisy over there i can't hear myself think so we're gonna crack on getting this found get us up the damp see you in a bit
we're doing quite well we've not recorded very much content because we've been just really really busy we are now at damp course height which is this last course of bricks there we've got a little bit of brickwork to come along this porch area here we turn it around that is the brickwork done but we'll get that in the morning because it's getting late on now after we've done that we're going to jump inside we've got two courses of four inch blocks which are these ones if you don't know with two course of them to go all the way around and two course of briquettes which the lads have started to load out on top of the brickwork so we can just douche them on just like that we've got our air vents in so the air vent just goes in if you don't know what they are it's a plastic air vent um air brick and this telescopic vent here comes along down the cavity and you've got the other section to the vent just slides in like that and you've got room to adjust the height of the vent to whatever suits the floor best also if you want or if you need to you can get an extension for this which will go in there and you can vent further down should you need to do that over here our ties so we've got our starter ties on and um, put our block work the we don't have any ties here have we? no but this starter uh, start bar will hold our ties you would have seen it in one of our other videos on youtube if you haven't go over to youtube make sure you like and subscribe to our channel because we always upload stuff like this so you can find that on there anyway that's just going to tie our block work to the existing house we've got vertical damp which we are cutting out this is going to go all the way up the building we put dbc in here and that is going to stop any transfer of moisture dampness transferred across into the building we are going to tie this brickwork into this house by turning it out so we take out any halves we just cut out our beds just like that we're still so knock them out and it ties in nicely so a brief update on where we are now this will be up to damp them out then we will we will be going back to Whitley Bay where we started a two-story extension for Dave Nicholas construction we got that up to damp last Friday and left to come here while the ground workers were preparing the oversight concrete for the timber floors to go in place so building spec is going there tomorrow so yeah it's all go this bar boy right here didn't really expect to be as good as it is super good it's really light and it's really comfortable like this seems like you know my fingers fit nice in this sort of area and the, the palm of your hand here and where my thumb is there it's a really really good hammer so if you haven't got one of these go and get one we have to have a new brick hammer because this is a proper little bad boy with that said we're going home so we'll catch you all in a little bit bye for now